again to She's World. My name is Sheila, but you can call me She. In today's episode, I'm going to go through the cover letter that I attach to all of my um, application. And so that way you can kind of see how I drafted it and how I pieced everything together. Remember this, the immigration officers are not only working on your case, they are working on multiple, multiple cases. And so you want to make this journey for them very, very seamless and also very seamless for yourself as well. So I all I attached a cover letter to every single application. I added everything together, my I-130, my I-8, Four, six, and then my I-485. I filed all three of them together so I didn't have to do piece by piece. And so with that in mind, each of the documents, I added this cover letter to it and I arranged everything just as it shows on there. I was very meticulous about that and I encourage you to do that as well. You make their lives very easy. So this is the cover letter that I typed. My address here at the top, and then the office of USCIS that I submitted the application to. You're going to see this in on USCIS website. So where, whichever state that you're in is going to show you where you're supposed to file. If you want, I'll do another video so you can see how you can pull that information up. So here you go. I put the address. I put a date there. And then I wrote this letter like this. To whom this may concern. So I titled this one Form I-485 application to register permanent residence or adjust status. And so I said contents included below in order as they appear. So I literally arranged it just the same way as I've listed it over here. My money order. So it's going to give you a money order amount to pay, an amount to pay you can write. I think I did a money order, so I'm just going to leave it as is. I did a money order for the application fee and the biometric um, fingerprint to had a different fee as well. And then number two, completed form G1145, e-notification of application signed by the beneficiary. And so I have another video showing you how to complete form G1145, completed and signed form I-485, copy of passport, bio data page, and my non-immigrant visa page as well. So I made copy of that, copy of my birth certificate, the non-immigrant birth certificate, completed and signed copy of G325A with two passport size photos. So passport size. Okay, so I also have another video as to how you can complete the I also have another video on my page as to how you can complete form 325A as well. Copy of marriage license and then copy of sealed form I-693. That's the medical report from the hospital. There is going to be a form for the doctor to fill out. The doctor is going to seal that form for you and he'll give you a copy. The sealed form is the one you add to your document and you mail to USCIS in addition to your I-485. Okay, please be informed that copies of documents submitted are exact photocopies of unaltered documents and I understand that I may be required to submit original documents to an immigration officer upon request. Too easy. So I did this and then I signed here and then of course I put my name down here and then noted that as the beneficiary. This made my life so easy. I could just literally follow this and I have copies of everything that I filed to this day and is literally arranged the same way. That's how meticulous I was with this filing. This is a very, very expensive process. So I will implore you to take the time, the effort and the energy. Double check yourself 100 times, 200 times, 600 times. It doesn't matter. Take your time with this process so that you submit it one time and you're done. And that's exactly what I did. It was a one-time submission and it was done. Okay, awesome. So right here, this is the other cover letter I did for my I-130 form. So again, the same address, the same format. And then I came here and I said, to whom this may concern. 
and then I said content included below in order as they appear exactly how I filed everything the money order and you're going to have the money order for the application fee however the amount is completed G 1145 e notification of application for the petitioner that's your American spouse or your green card holder spouse so I added this form so that an email notification or and text message notification was sent to um, us as soon as USCIS received this form. Completed and signed form I-130 by the petitioner. Completed and signed form G-325A petitioner, petitioner along with two passport size photos. So you can kind of put a dash in here to make it make sense a little bit. Okay, completed and signed G-325 five form by the petitioner along with two passport site photos copy of birth certificate from the petitioner copy of driver's license from the petitioner copy of marriage license copy of affidavit signed by the petitioner stating she doesn't have social security number during the time of marriage you don't have to do this but i personally wrote just a letter to uscis as the same format saying i did not have a social security number and i don't have a social security number you don't have to do it but i did it i just it worked for me certified copy of divorce decree so if you have been married before i'm just including it here either the petitioner or the beneficiary if any of you have been married before and have been divorced i encourage you to add the certified copies as well you don't have to add the original copies you keep all original copies for yourself in case the uscis officer asks so you're going to take that to your interview but every original copy you keep and you only send the certified copies in or if it's not certified and it's just copies of your divorce decree go ahead and attach it to your document 12 copy of joint and health insurance policies so there are companies here in america that are going to give both of you an insurance policy even though one partner does not have a social security number if you want me to do a video on how i did that research and found a company that did that for us i'll be more than happy to do that for you also my partner's um, company was able to add me onto his life insurance even though I didn't have the social security. So that was just phenomenal. So make sure you're making all these inquiries with your, your American citizen or your green card holders um, job and see if they're willing to be um, add you on without a social. If that is the case, phenomenal. Add that proof of insurance. At the time we did our application, I was pregnant at that time. And so I added my proof of pregnancy which was the best decision I could ever have done because that pregnancy um, note from my doctor also stated my time of delivery. And so when USCIS was um, scheduling our interview, they scheduled it after my delivery, which was really, really good. It doesn't inconvenience us to the point where you're about to deliver at USCIS office. So please add that if you have it. Copy of letter to the bank of beneficiary naming petitioner as nest of kin to financial investment. So whatever investment I had back home in Ghana, I added a letter to, I sent a letter to the bank saying, if something happens to me, everything goes to my spouse now. So it's very important. Anything that you can prove that you have a bona fide marriage, you have to do that. Remember, the onus is on you to prove to the immigration officer that this marriage is legitimate and this marriage is not fake. They don't have to prove anything to you. You have to do all of this. So make sure any evidence that you have that you two are together, wedding photos, pictures of you out with friends, photos of you out doing fun stuff together, anything there is i tell everyone there is nothing like too much evidence there is nothing like that if you have text messages proving that you've been talking for a long time if you have online chat saved if you have skype messages i know skype i'm so old besides the point make sure you prove everything if you need friends and family to write letters to tell immigration that you've been together for x amount of time all of you two are always together at this party that party you're always seen together please do not shortchange yourself awesome 
So copies of letters from friends and family, wedding pictures, social media pictures. So if you have posts showing you guys are together with likes, with friends commenting, please do not shortchange yourself. Copy of financial investment from the beneficiary, copies of financial investment from the petitioner, anything to show that you guys have things together already. Please be informed that copies, again, I repeated the same statement here as I did in there. And then this is signed by the petitioner, so you make sure the petitioner signs that. The last letter I have here, and as you go through, you can pause the video to replicate what I've done if you want to. Remember, I'm not an immigration lawyer. Let me throw that in there. Okay, awesome. So this is the same thing, but this form is for form I-864, Affidavit of Support under Section 213A of the Act. This is the same way the form says, so I just repeated the verbiage from the form. Contents included below in order as they appear. Completed and signed form I-864, letter of employment. So my spouse, my American citizen spouse, got a letter from his employer to state that he works there, the kind of job he does. And if you have your offer letter at that time, you can also add it as well. Phenomenal, too easy. Um, copy of Internal Revenue Service Tax Return for 2014, 2013, 2012. So whichever year it is, add all of the three year. I encourage you to add it. If you don't know how to go onto Internal Revenue website to help your partner get the uh, tax returns, because most people don't keep it. My husband is like really bad about keeping documents. We had to go back onto Internal Revenue website to be able to get transcripts. These can be emailed to you or can be mailed to you. However you get it, please attach copies of it as well. And again, I repeated the same verbiage here. Please be informed that copies of documents submitted are exact copies of unaltered documents. And I understand that I may be required to submit the original documents to an immigration officer upon request. Too easy. So this is it. Basically, this is all I did and I attached these um, cover letters. Do not staple your um documents together just leave them single papers but have them arranged like this and each one i clipped this to it which was phenomenal i thought it was very very easy for me i'm not going to talk too long thank you so much so much for watching if you have any questions leave it in the comment section like comment subscribe and i'll be uploading more videos bye take care royals